Hi everybody. Today we are talking about taking care of family and the idea of living your life for someone else. Many caregivers tell me that they feel like they have lost part of their life, like they've lost who they are when caring for an elderly parent or a spouse becomes very time consuming. And this eventually happens for many caregivers. Even those caregivers who are only doing maybe a couple hours a week today, caregiving situations can look very different six months or a year or two years or five years from today. As a caregiver, how do you take care of family and not feel like you are living your life for someone else or that you have given up your life for someone else? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there, helpful information for caregivers and aging adults in my caregiving blog, my weekly podcast called The Caring Generation, my caregiving library, and my online caregiver courses. So we're going to talk about the emotional effects of taking care of family and feeling like you are living your life for someone else. We'll talk about how men and women manage this differently and also the importance of having a plan for yourself as that caregiver. If you are feeling like you're living your life for someone else and you're in a very busy care situation and you're a woman, many times we have these little breakdowns. We could be doing something like making dinner and all of a sudden we have a teary episode or taking a shower and we have a teary episode or leaving the grocery store and sitting in our car and crying. These episodes are actually telling us that we are overwhelmed or that we're feeling anxious or that we're very emotional. And they happen for no apparent reason. I mean, you could be doing something totally unrelated to caregiving and just start crying. The important thing is, it's important to recognize that these little teary episodes are a cry for help. It's telling you that it's important to take care of yourself and to look at things a little differently. And we'll talk about that in a minute. For male caregivers, a lot of times male caregivers feel like you have to be the strong ones. You have to hold everything in. And men deal with caregiving stress through activity. So maybe you go golf or clean out the garage or go have a beer with friends or do something. Men and women respond to caregiving stress very differently and they look at caregiving very differently. Many women do a lot of the hands-on care while men may want to try to manage the situation. And so what happens is as our loved ones need more and more care, we can feel a sense of loss, a sense of guilt for things that we don't know to do. For example, an elderly parent or someone may have a fall or an accident, and we as the caregiver could blame us saying, oh, I should have been able to prevent that, I should have known that. Or if a health issue gets worse, let's say memory loss continues to advance or someone has heart disease or diabetes, and they continue to get sicker and sicker and sicker, more hospitalizations, more issues. Caregivers can feel responsible for that, like almost like a runaway train that you cannot stop. This is normal, but as a caregiver, if you've never done this before, there's no way unless you seek help or education from someone like myself to even know what could possibly happen or what you should look for. Because the healthcare profession doctors don't know what to tell patients, don't know what to tell caregivers because they don't have the time to talk to you in depth. I offer one-to-one -one elder care consultations. You can find more information through my website at PamelaDWilson.com. So what is the solution for taking care of families and feel like you are living your life for someone else? It's to notice those teary episodes, to notice those times when you feel like you have to hold everything in and be the strong person and you can't talk to anyone. The solution is actually coming up with a plan and talking to someone. 
many caregivers I know try to go to mental health counselors and they become disappointed because the mental health counselors are great at counseling for mental health. They're not great at offering caregiver solutions or options or talking about what can happen. And that really is a benefit when you feel like you've totally given up your life to care for someone else and you're trying just to hang on to that little piece of you, that little piece of what's left. The way that you do it is to create a plan and to try to take back bits and pieces of your life. A lot of caregivers will say, I don't have time to do that. If you don't have time to do that, what will happen is that as a caregiver, you will have more physical health problems, more emotional health problems, and you eventually could be that person that needs a caregiver, that has a caregiver that feels like he or she is giving up their life to care for you. The path through taking care of family and feeling like you're living your life for someone else is to recognize that that's happening to you, to seek counseling, education, talk to an elder care expert, talk to a caregiving expert, make a plan to take back little bits of your life and to find that balance so that you are not compromising your health and your well-being. Because if you are, think about this question. If you feel sick all the time or emotionally stressed, how good of a caregiver will you be for your spouse or an elderly parent or someone else in your life? Only you can answer that question. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Please share this video. Please share my website with other caregivers you know. There are so many people, caregivers, looking for a little bit of hope a little bit of support and options for taking care of elderly parents, spouses, and other people in your family. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again soon in another video.